on Gym Rats, we want to profile the hardcore, the outrageous, and the coolest workout locales in the country. You guessed it, Gym Rats. We are in Gainesville, Florida, home of the mighty Florida Gators. On this episode of Gym Rats, we're in the weight room and the hardwood with the University of Florida men's basketball team. For the Gators, strength and conditioning coach Preston Green is part coach, part scientist, and full-time motivator. Listen in as Coach P and Farb take on a Florida workout. With my guys, I'll use chains, okay? Because it changes the strength curve, so as the chains uh, come off the ground, the, uh, the rep gets harder, okay? So, like, especially in sport, whether you're, you're trying to fight through a screen or get a defender off or guys going through and has to, you know, finish through contact, you need to be able to apply that force through a, a curve where you have to right. keep producing power. And sort of reinforces the, to be explosive through the movement. Yeah, it teaches right? the yeah. brain how to go from slow to fast. Three, two, one, up. Three, it's been researched forever. It's really clear, like, when you use uh, thick grip implements, you recruit more motor units, like you recruit more muscle fibers, yeah. you know? One, what I found is, three, you know, like, these guys are so gifted athletically and neurally. They all can run fast and jump high. So when we train, they like adapt everything so fast. So like I change the program like after every two sessions or whatever. So anything you can do, chains or thick grip or bands, like anything you can do to keep that stimulus new. Yeah helps keep them progressing because they just they pick stuff up so fast. Every rep is counted, every rep's coached. Yeah, spotted uh, Every set's dictated, yeah. yeah, so it's a different style of training. So how much would you say that you and Coach White kind of go back and forth? Is that communication? Every day, fluid, yeah. every day. We, we spend more time talking about these guys than you can imagine. Yeah. Like, it, it's a daily, this guy, where is he physically, where is he mentally, where is he emotionally, how's his recovery, you know, things like that, so he, is great, great to work for. Like, I'm really blessed. I couldn't be successful if he wasn't bought into what we do. Of course, yeah. You know what I mean? He gives me the full, full support. A guy's in here, and you have him do something, and then that day or the next day of practice, he performs a certain way, right? So, so if we go, hey, he showed up today, and something was off, right? Then we're like, okay, let's look at what we did. And sometimes it could be, hey, something happened, and then now he's like, his energy's like way higher. He's like way quicker when, he, when we do these workouts. Like, how can we pinpoint? Yeah, yeah, and, and a lot of that goes into what we're doing practice-wise, and that's where I think our communication is great, where I say, hey, coach, like, you know, we have eight days till our next game. I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive today and tomorrow, and he may adjust some things during practice, not do so much physical banging and things like that. Or, and that may not sound like a big deal, but it, it doesn't go on everywhere. Sure. A lot of coaches have that mentality of, we got to do this, and we're going to go three hours every day. I'm going to kill them every day. I'm going to run them into the ground. Like, you know, um, that, I think, really goes into to winning late. Because you saw the Final Four uh, uh, trophies and championship oh, trophies. Yeah. Like, if, if you're burying these kids year-round, like, you're not going to have your legs in February and no, March. It's a, that, it's a long season. And, yeah. And they yeah. got to make it there. Exactly. If, I'm really lucky because some of my colleagues who do this, it, 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 that just doesn't happen. So who, uh, who crushes that strongman workout? Who's like continuously at the top of that board? Uh, well, this, this year's been very different. We have eight new players this year. Oh, wow. Which in basketball, you have 13 guys. It's over half the team. But the thing with strongman is, at least with, with Basketball players typically is, like I said, so far outside their element. It's right. such a mindset and so mental of like, okay, it's 6 a.m. 
on a Friday morning, the last thing these guys want to be doing. So like, who's gonna, who shows up with a positive attitude ready to attack this? Like those guys do way better than, man, I'm tired. What does this have to do with basketball? Like right. we don't strongman train to make you a better basketball player. Right. It's first of all, it's it's a team building, you know, uh, event where like we want our guys to compete with each other, but also push each other, be positive with each other, bring everyone together. You know, so at the end, there's this huge feeling of accomplishment. Right. Like, wow, we just did this insane stuff this guy's asking me to do. One, three. Well, lockout, lockout, lockout. Six drive. Good. All right, KJ. A little bit taller than I am. A little bit. Sure makes basketball a little bit easier, but what kind of challenge does that give you in the weight room? We're a little bit longer than some of the shorter guys, so we got to pull and push a little bit further than them. But um, overall, I'll take the length. Like, it works. So something like squats. Mm -hmm. I got to go down a little bit. You got to go down a lot of bit. What kind of technique adjustments does Coach P give you to, to handle that? Just keeping a wide base, keeping a sturdy base. And then, quite honestly, he's like pushed through it. Um, they got to work a little bit harder out here. Um, to like overcome some of the height issues that they have, and we got to overcome a lot of the strength issues that we'll have in there. So Coach P told me that some of the machines he has to get custom made. The the pull up bars got to be set higher. Coach P he does a really good job of like making sure like we're comfortable with everything we're doing. Um, he teaches us proper technique. Uh, he's a little bit shorter than us, so he has to teach us a little bit different. So you've gotten a little bit bigger since you've been in school. Grew grew a couple inches in height and put on some weight. Mm -hmm. Uh, what kind of nutrition and, and different food have you been you've been using to to maximize the, the size that you put on? So when I'm eating, I try to um, stay away from a lot of carbs sometimes. Um, but when we're like running all these um, calories off, it's like easy to eat that and be okay. But I try to eat a lot of um, meats and stuff, a lot of protein, a lot of um, vegetables. And then as long as I do that, I feel like I'm at my peak performance when I'm playing and when I'm lifting. Coming in as a senior, you know, one of the older guys, but it's your first year here. How are you fitting into that leadership role? It's a balance, um, learning everything, but also trying to be at the forefront of leading everything. So I think as a leader, it's important for me to learn from other guys and show that I can be a part of the team, but also be in a position where I'm going to be able to be vocal at times when we need it. Do you have a, maybe a favorite lift in the weight room? I like arm days, arm days. Come out of there with Who a big Who doesn't like arm day? I did a little arm day earlier today. Yeah. It was good. Come out of there with a big pump. Now everybody can see like what you're doing with your legs, so you want to show it off a little bit. When we return, Coach P lays down a challenge to Farb, the Gator Strongman Death Circuit. But first, fifth year Gators head coach Mike White details how success on the court truly starts in the weight room. All right, Scotty. Saw you in practice yesterday, really throwing it down. Clearly a hell of an athlete. Right. What kind of training has Coach P been giving you to you know, take that explosiveness to the next level? So we all have different systems. So for me, it's just taking my fast switching muscles that I already have and kind of making those stronger, um, making those faster moving. So I've definitely, my, higher, my vertical has gone up since I've been here with our front squats, our back squats. So what's your vert at now? Uh, when I came in, it was at a 37. Uh, now it's like a 39, 40. So, Scotty, you're a true freshman. How has it been adjusting to, you know, the new school and, and your teammates and the, the, some of the older players and the leaders on the squad? So back in high school, uh, all four years, I was kind of the leader of the team and kind of uh, loved being that. Uh, but coming in, having guys like Andrew, Keontae, and Noah, who were literally in my position last year as freshmen, uh, being able to talk to them and communicate with them on and off the court, how they did certain things and how, like, the first game feeling was going to be and just the nervousness and, uh, they're kind of uh, easing, easing it into all of us. Uh, every day is a learning experience with them on and off the floor. and uh, We're becoming better friends, and um, they're, be they're becoming great leaders. And I love the fact that I can go there for anything with us being the same age and having that kind of chemistry. Uh, everything just kind of buys in and comes together. How does that leadership balance uh, you know, sort of start here in the weight room? Uh, just pushing each other. You know, um, we do, we've been doing basketball since we were 
you know, young kids. So this is just a different atmosphere that we have to help each other fight through. And if we're on a last set and um, you know someone can't get through it, all of us are going to crowd around him and kind of give him that energy um, to kind of rep out that set and uh, kill it. So I'm going to do the strongman circuit of death later. What am I in for here? I'd rather not tell you in all honesty. We See, why has everyone got to be so secretive about we it? We didn't get a heads up, so we just kind of dove right into it. And you're going to like, what we did, like tire flip to the farmer's walk. Then you have the rope pull on the floor. Um, then the last part, obviously the hardest part, is like the car. So the car, when you go on the, on the pavement, there's like a little incline. So when you get to it, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel like you cannot move the car. And you got to push it up. That's though. like a heads up. So okay. you just got to know. Farmer carries, you don't need to get super warmed up for just standing up. Just got to make sure that your grip's ready and your system's primed for picking them up off the floor. And then, uh, oh, the yoke. This thing is, they don't tell me how much any of these things weigh, so I don't even know what to expect.
Sunshine State. Yes, sir. I'm in California. We got Sunshine, too. <laughs> Winning is not easy. It's life.